my time rain here and I'm back with another video long time no see YouTube I have not put a video up in about a week well no a little more than a week probably about a week and a half I mean I have some that I need to edit but you know it's gonna take more than just a few cuts and snips for me to edit them and I've been kind of lazy I know Christmas is coming up uh, today is Sunday Christmas is Tuesday so there you have it. And yes, I know I probably look a hot mess. I'm giving um, a little reminiscence of Medusa, perhaps. But, of course, as usual, I'm not here to be cute in this video. I'm here for us to talk about these Real Housewives of Atlanta. And, honey, excuse the bra straps that they showing. I don't know. I'm not really caring about it. Let's just jump right into this episode. Okay, so, I was going to make a video last week. On last week's episode, but I was like, why do that when it's a two-parter? I just do it all in one. So, okay. Mm -mm -mm. They are in Anguilla. And, um, yeah, they're in Anguilla. And, okay, uh, so I'm going to start with last week's episode. At the beginning of the episode, Phaedra shuts down Kenya's bullshit about sleeping with her husband. Da, da, da. And, um... You know, Kenya's like, well, I wasn't meaning it. Like, so and so, girl, don't play. Don't stop playing with people's motherfucking man. Okay? Stop playing with people's motherfucking man. And then, um, oh, and Portia, tell, of course, I have my notes. Doop, doop, doop. Portia tells Cynthia about Kenya dropping it and shaking her booty on King, on uh, Peter's um, private area and all this here, which was very inappropriate. Honey, um, but okay. Side note, did y'all see Nene's exposed track when she was in there with the little old lady that was supposed to be doing all her? Baby, they had the track exposed, honey. I don't know if Nene ain't got enough her to cover it, but it was just all right there. And honey, I just don't know about that one. So, um, oh, and Nene let Kenya know about her feelings about her and Walter's relationship as far as it not being authentic because, I mean, everyone can sense this, Okay. And, uh, Kim immediately jumps to the defensive, and, um, and it's like, well, she don't care about nobody else, say she know what her Walter got this, this, that, and the other. Bitch! Fairies is fair as hell and falsehoods. Lies, lies, lies. Okay? You is just living in la-la land and hoping for the best. Now, of course, this is the edited show, so we don't know what conversations are being had between King and Walter, um... When the camera's not rolling, but I mean, I didn't hear him say any say, "Oh yes, I'm going to be proposing to you" or giving any inklings about that. I mean, it kind of felt like that she was just pushing the issue. Now, when the camera's not rolling, we don't know what's being said because at the end of uh, this episode, she it's like, "Well, we talked about this, this, that, and the other," and. So, we don't know how in-depth those conversations were, which I'll get to later. But, you know, I didn't hear him say nothing that sounded like, oh, some wedding bills is ringing, bitch. So, anyway. Uh, Cynthia, she is pleasantly surprised by her wedding. And her and Peter renewed their vows. It was very cute, very sweet, very romantic. I really liked it. I loved it. Good job, uh, Peter. He did good. You know, I'm starting to like him this season. Even though, uh, you know... All these previous these previous seasons that he's been on there, he just always struck me as a whooping bitch ass type of dude. And you know, I feel like he was probably uh, emotionally abusing Cynthia. But I mean, he's on my good side this season. I, I, he's doing good. I like him. Looks like both of their businesses are thriving, and it don't look so much like he's using her. But I guess it's because uh, the issues that have been brought forth this season are really not about their finances and 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 financial failures like it has been in the previous seasons it's more so focusing on their love and their relationship and how they trying to you know move their relationship past that whole uh uh let's keep the wedding license from her fiasco that went down when they got married the first time so i really like this wedding it was very sweet cynthia was surprised i think it, it went off with that hitch it was wonderful okay so let's get to it can you get portia well no. Nene uh, brings up the incident that happened between King and Portia. So, of course, it is rehashed. Portia 
talks about how she felt about the situation and this is that and the other. King wasn't saying nothing. King said, well, I don't want to talk about that. I mean, it was so long ago. Da, da, da. Honey, all the others are just looking at them all crazy because this whole thing, it just completely blew up. Okay? Nene tried to defuse the situation. Uh, they was finna argue. They was in each other's face. I don't know if it was finna be some blows thrown, but they had to swoop King over there to the side and da 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 da. King's talking about, oh, you called me a tramp, honey, because she called her a tramp. She called her a bitch. And blah 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 blah. But I mean, quiet as it's kept. Kenya was acting. I don't. I don't know if I'm going to say. I don't know if I'm going to say that Kenya is a tramp but she was acting a little trampish on this trip okay you're flirting with whoever the hell tell my have you donated to sperm banks and and like i want to have your baby but you supposed to be trying to get engaged to walter and then she's saying um she's shaking her ass on peter's privates she's asking phaedra to sleep with her husband i mean you're acting tramp ish you claim i'm not a tramp i'm not be i'm no one's trap i might flirt i might do this but i'm gonna go home with my man okay that's fine but i mean when you act like that in the way she was acting it is perceived that you are a little trampish so you know it just blew up Honey, but <clears throat> baby, you know what? Okay, ugh. I wish I had TiVo, y'all. Cause when this whole starts spinning around in circles, talking about I'm fabulous, I'm fabulous, I'm gone with the wind, fabulous, and she starts spinning around. <laughs> each other but i guess now they're gonna try to be more friendly with each other 
So, uh, okay, of course, Portia and Kenya each tell their men about the confrontation. The men just listening, looking, and Wallace will crack a few chuckles, and Cordell is looking like, oh, well, so everything okay now? What is going on with Cordell? Do he have some sores around his mouth, or was he suffering from cotton mouth? On, on that little scene where she was telling him about the little incident, because he was looking a little mess around the face. I don't know, was the light bouncing the wrong way off of his chocolate teeth? I don't know, but ooh, child, it was a mess. And so, <clears throat> and then Portia with that whole mean raising, it's like, oh my God, she sound, that sounds like something that you know a third grader would say she looks like a mean raisin mommy she's just mean she's frowning at me oh my god she just looked like a mean raisin you know like when raisin ronnie just run up and look mean that's how kenya was looking like a mean raisin oh girl this this look girl obviously her vocabulary it must not be but that big okay because she 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 don't she don't know that many words Okay, and then, okay, so I think they was out on the beach eating lunch, and then, you know, Kenya gives Cynthia this book as a gift, but it's really a dig because it's a book written by Vanessa Williams, and, you know, since uh, Cynthia didn't know if Kenya was before or after Vanessa Williams, you know, it was a dig, basically, but it was a book, it was a gift, you know. I don't know, it was, it, it was real, it was rude the way she presented it, but I guess it was a nice gesture. And so, you know, Cynthia was like, okay, honey. But, you know, Cynthia being the classy lady that she is, she took her to the side. They walked on the beach, and then she read her from there, okay? She didn't have to make the big scene in front of everybody today, but she just said thank you, took the book, went about her business. She read her on the beach in private. Okay. Oh, and I like Cynthia's little cover-up she had on. It was real cute. Okay, but then at the end of this episode, okay. So, Peter makes a toast. You know, he goes around the table, he says something nice about everybody. He said, you know, he's glad Greg and Nene, Greg, he's glad Greg and Nene or have worked out our differences. They starting to get along real good. He wants that relationship to blossom back into marriage again. You know, say so he got to know Fade and Apollo better. He likes them, likes Cordell. You know, he said something nice about all the couples. When he got to Walter, he said that at first he did not think that him and Kenya's relationship was authentic. And, but after talking to Walter, he see he's a real straight up dude, which I'm not a dude, so I don't know what that kind of meant and how it is relevant to whether him and Kenya have a real relationship going on. But, you know, that's what he said. So, and, <clears throat> and then Pre Peter kind of says, you know, uh, gives a gesture that, you know, Walter only has three days and, you know, about the whole proposing situation. And Walter looks completely embarrassed and, like, put off because he's like, did Kenya tell you that? Basically, did Kenya tell you that I was going to propose to her? And furthermore, oh, why would anybody tell you that they're going to propose to you on a tr on a certain trip, like on a trip to Anguilla? I think it should be like, you know, I'm surprised. Not, oh, yeah, I'm going to propose to you. I mean, why would, I don't, why would he even tell her that anyway? But, oh, and baby, uh, Walter said, let me correct this. That, um, no, um, no, that is not the situation. I'm moving at my own pace. That a lot, nobody's going to pressure me. Oh, honey, and Kenya just had egg all over her face at that point because she just looked utterly embarrassed. So everybody running around the table telling their engagement stories, how they end up getting engaged. Nene told me she got engaged driving down I-20. And, um... So on and so forth. So everybody's telling their engagement story. And Kenya chimes in and says to Phaedra, so how did you let Apollo know that you were ready to get married? I mean, not everybody is going around telling their significant other, hey, you better propose me, better propose me, better propose me, hey, better propose me, better propose me, better propose me, hey, hey, did I tell you? Better propose to me. Not everybody's doing that, okay? Not everybody's doing it. So, uh, you know, and then when she said that, people were just looking like, oh my God, what is wrong with this girl? She is steady doing this. So Kenya gets up from the table. She suddenly lost her appetite. So she goes over there and she's sitting in the corner, you know, sad enough, sad and wants to come to her. He's telling her, I never said such and such, such and such. She said, well, we was discussing such, 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 and you said such, 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 such. He said, I didn't, I said such, such, but I didn't say such, such, such. 
So da da da, she gets uh, offended by the way he's speaking to her and told him he needs to stop talking so loud. And he's like, "What are you talking about?" So she gets up, runs off, goes sits up under the uh, little, uh, what you call them tree, little old palm tree, coconut tree, whatever the hell. And with her little old booklet look like this, I don't know if she's finna write in her journal what the situation was. So she all sad and upset, and then here come Phaedra to talk to her about the situation, try to make her feel better, try to, you know help her in some way find all the pieces of her face that were scattered around the floor, okay? And so, <clears throat> then here come Apollo, talking about he looking for them just to, <clears throat> you know, make sure they are right. Now, okay, I'm going to give y'all my initial thoughts when Apollo ran up on them and was talking, you know, you know, saying what he had to say. I kind of felt like that it was weird, but I mean, I guess it's possible for Apollo to, you know, be concerned or worried about Kenya, I guess, or no, 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 no. For him to be concerned or worried about where Phaedra was, if that's what the situation, if that's what the situation was, but it's like, those are women, and I kind of thought that it was fine that the other woman went to talk to Kenya. Apollo popping up, it's kind of th threw me off. You know, I don't know. Those were my initial thoughts. And then they all walked away together talking about, you know, if it's going to be, it's going to be. If, you know, God wants to have it's going to have another die. So, I don't know. That's my initial thoughts was. It was kind of, it was kind of weird. So, anyway. <clears throat> uh, that was the end of that episode. So, honey, <clears throat> I'm going to have to say, Honey, after Kenya was trying to scoop up Apollo, Phaedra was the only one that tried to go and console her when she was feeling such a mess. So, that was nice of her. So, that's all I gotta say about that. I think, of course, when I get through, when I stop this camera and I'm done recording, I'm gonna think about some things that I want to say, but whatever. I'll just let it go. So, next episode, apparently, is some things in the tabloids saying that Phaedra and Apollo are headed for divorce. So, we'll see how that goes. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm going to try to get those other videos um, edited up so I can go ahead and upload them. This one will be simple to upload because I don't have to do a lot of stuff. So, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for your continued support. Thank you for continuing to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at MyTyRain. And I guess that's all I gotta say for now. I'll let you guys later. Bye.